Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So the frontline small drop today, I played a few rounds and I have to say, I actually really like the mode. I also tested the AKS 74U since it got buffed, so I will be covering both of those things in this video today. As for the frontline mode, what is it? Some of you that played Battlefield 1 probably know it, but I personally think the mode is something between Breakthrough and Rush. But not in a bad way because I think the problem with Breakthrough and Rush is that if you're on the defending team, the modes feel kind of oppressive and are very boring to play but on the attacking side. You can have a lot of fun, especially in Breakthrough. And this mode balances it out quite well because here both teams are attacking and both teams are defending at the same time. So you're not forced to defend and have a bad time or only attack and have a good time. You mix between those, what I really like. I really enjoy this mode. And as for the maps I played, I think the map is on I think the game mode is on Haven, Redacted, Discarded and one other map but for some reason all the rounds I played were only on Redacted. I don't know why. I just got only Redacted and I got like one discarded round but the round was so bad there was no cover. You basically got shot from every angle so I quit out of the round so for me it's basically Redacted only for this game mode currently and how it works on Redacted is you basically you have reflex a b and c and then in the spawn rooms of the russian and the us team they are the mcoms and you basically start out by fighting over the b flag and when you whatever team captures the b flag let's say the russian team captures the b flag then you go to the a flag so closer to the yes spawn when you then capture the a flag both mcoms of the us teams basically go online then you get a few tickets and with those tickets you need to destroy both mcom a and mcom b and if you can't complete this task before you run out of tickets then those mcoms disable and the flag a is open for capture again after i think 20 or 30 seconds and then the same things again so if the russian team then captures a again they get tickets again and can destroy the mcoms again but if the us team manages to capture the a flag then after 20 or 30 seconds the b flag unlocks and the whole tech shifts towards the Russian side away from the US side. And I really enjoyed this. I actually had a lot of fun. I also think the rewards you are currently getting are really cool, but that's not the main point. I would actually go as far as to say I enjoy this mode so much. I hope they make it permanent. I know it's a limited time event currently, but I actually think this mode is way more fun than Breakthrough or Rush because it's a mix of both and also because both teams can actually attack and defense. So there's some dynamic to the gameplay. When you play Breakthrough, you often have the problem that if you're on the attacking team, everything is usually going well. But if you're on the defending team, you have the problem a lot of people quit. A lot of lobbies don't even fill on the defense because people see they need to defend. They don't even get into the lobby. They just quit out of search and search again. And so you often end up with lobbies where the defense is the weaker team because all the good players or players they know what they are doing are just quitting and filling the tech side so you're on defense you are left with people that don't really know what they would do in the game or that are worse players and so usually most breaks rounds end in a stomp where the attacking team just rolls over the defending team and this didn't happen in the frontline mode actually for me it was a super well balanced mode and actually in my last game it lasted the whole thing 45 minutes whatever the round is i joined a bit late so i don't know what the amount of time is you actually get but it actually was a lot of back and forth where we got to their mcoms and in the end they got to our mcoms but we just barely won the match because we exploded their bmcom twice and our mcom they didn't explode any of them so it was a nice back and forth i really enjoyed this round also it was 20v20 unredacted i think this actually plays a bit better than 32v32 at least for frontlines mode in conquest that's a bit different but for frontlines i think the team size of 20v20 is super fun i really enjoyed it so that's that i would highly recommend everyone to play this mode it's something different it's not your boring breakthrough your boring conquest we are playing for years already so go play this mode i think you would probably enjoy it and now for the aks 74u the gun got buffed you have a bit more accuracy slightly more recoil and a bit faster fire rate and i have to say i enjoyed the gun a bit but i still don't think it's a good smg ttk is 267 milliseconds if you don't land any headshots that's in fact the same ttk you have with the cz3 currently but with the aks 74u you only need four body shots but this also means if you miss a shot with the aks 74u your ttk gets a lot longer and yeah but i think it's a cool gun to pick up currently if you want to tier one this gun for whatever reason because we don't get tier one skins or portal guns but if you want to now it's a good time to play the gun it 
it felt good, but I still think other SMGs are better. So the new game mode is really fun. I hope it stays. The AK-74U buff is really nice. Shotguns, they nerfed them. I haven't seen that many. I think I died to a shotgun like twice or three times. And then of course I saw a lot of those players, but overall the game mode is fun. I, there also isn't as much grenade spam as I expected it to be. And the AK is simply for you is fun and you it's basically it. I really enjoyed my time. I will probably hop on and play this mode a bit more. So if in the coming days you see a bit more footage from this mode, then you know I really enjoyed this mode. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you also enjoyed this mode, if you have played it already. And if you also want to have this more permanent, I think especially now after they announced that they will stop supporting the game, I think having it more like this permanent can make for an alternative compared to the rest we are currently playing but yeah that's just my opinion and so if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future content and as always thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in the next one